Hey guys, so today is day four of taking Adipax. I'm in the car and warming it up. Yesterday I had a really bad snow, a couple inches, <coughs> and I didn't end up going to um, the gym because I had to deal with the tax thing and it was confusing. I had to go back home to bring some old paper stuff because... It was confusing, but it's all done with, and by the time I was finished going back and forth, um, got a little too late, and I was not about to drive all the way to the gym, and, and it'll be closed soon, so they close at like 9, but, you know, it's just, I'd rather not come home too late from the gym. But, um, I finally ate dinner yesterday, just because during lunchtime, the food wasn't so great, so I didn't eat much. They brought in Boston Market, it was some kind of like meatloaf type thing but it wasn't the regular meatloaf it was like really hot hard solid meat and like spamish texture and I love spam but this one's just kind of weird and then on the side um, I put in mashed potatoes some mac and cheese and um oh god sweet potato yams canned yams but I didn't put a lot I didn't finish the meatloaf I ate like I cut I cut it with a knife and I ate like two pieces and then one of my friends mentioned <coughs> maybe it was horse meat and I was like never mind but it wasn't that tasty anyway but the horse meat threw me off but um so I, I eat much I still don't get thirsty like I don't know so I got home I ate dinner finally because I eat dinner on Monday or Tuesday because just not hungry. I feel full, like from what I ate during lunchtime at work. So my mom made this um, soup, Asian stuff, with some greens. Don't know what you call it in English, but you get it at the Asian store. It's really good. Um, with some tofu and chicken. It's supposed to eat with rice, but all I ate was the vegetables with like the broth and the tofu and like little pieces of chicken meat. It's white breast chicken meat chicken breast yeah anyway sleeping patterns are okay um i did lay down for a bit i did pass out realized that the light was still on when i woke up in the middle of the night woke up again around one o'clock because i got a, an, an annoying text from my sister but just lay down there again and i slept okay not bad i didn't have like bad insomnia i think my body's getting used to it and i still feel energized which is a good thing um, I've been having, like, a banana every morning. I would eat it, like, by the time I get to work, because it says, um, you know, take a, the pill early in the morning and eat two hours later. However, today, um, I feel like it's not bad, but, because I didn't feel this the last two days, um, I don't, I don't know how to explain, like, not dizzy, but dizzy feeling. You're not feeling when you run for so long on a treadmill, and when you finally get off and you walk on, like, solid floor, that feeling. Like, my body's really light. But, like, I'm staying, nothing's spinning, but it's just that feeling, like, I don't know. It's not bad, I can deal with it. I guess lightheadedness. Not horrible, okay? Don't get me wrong. But anyway, went on the scale. I know. Can't help it. I can't help it. Like, I can't believe a medication can make you lose freaking two pounds or one pound every day. Wow. Wow. Now I can understand why this thing can be so addicting. Wow. I'm so happy that I don't have the same side effects. When I took hydroxyl cut, that thing was scary shit. This shit is good. Like, well, the may maybe I'm just lucky because some people do get some bad side effects. But I feel fine. Yeah, about 156. All right. However, I went on a scale in the morning. It's at 158, and all of a sudden, I kind of moved the scale around the floor in the bathroom. 158 to 156. So I don't know. I could be wrong. So either 158 or 156. Still in the 150s, out of the 164s. 
I feel different. I feel lighter. I look in the mirror, my stomach looks more trimmed. Still kind of big, but it's more skinnier looking and my back fat. Yeah. Oh my god. So excited. Maybe there's a chance that I will get to 130 by the end of this month. That would be a miracle. Yes, my friend. I can only take this pill for three months. It's kind of a good pressure because the first month you're on the pill, you come back after that one month, you come in for a checkup. If you don't lose any pounds, you cannot get back on the pill. You have to lose a pound or more. So like, if you don't and you stay the same, all you gained, which has happened to a lot of our patients that come in, it's weird, um, you can't continue the program. We call it a diet program at our office. It might be different somewhere else. I don't know. I'm in Ohio. You have to restart in six months, which sucks. So I like that kind of pressure at the same time because I'm, I'm getting the pills at my job. So I would feel really stupid being on a pill and not losing weight because it's kind of like you want to prove people wrong. And I'm kind of like on a spot at work and there's people who talk shit and shit. But, you know, I shouldn't care, but I do. All right. So, Yeah. I need to stop vlogging and stop weighing myself. I can't help it because my videos going to be really long, but I'm giving as much detail as possible. All right. Yay. Bye. Hey, guys. So today is day four of taking Adapex pill. I wanted to do an update. So today it was really busy at work. Um, I ended up covering my office by my house because one of my <coughs> coworkers called in sick. But anyway, same thing to my pill at 5 o'clock, and um, I still feel energized as usual, but it was so busy at work today, um, you know, how I usually have my bananas in the morning. I didn't have a chance to eat my banana. I would, like, bite it, and then it'll be extra busy again, so I didn't get a chance to finish it until during lunchtime, so I felt really drained. So I basically had the pill and then had nothing in my system, like no food, no energy. So I was really tired and hungry, so by the time lunch came, I was like, ooh, and we had pizza from um, Donato's or something. Maybe it's just in the East Coast. But anyway, I had some salad. I didn't get a lot of soul drain, and, and I was actually more jittery today than usual. And um, things were kind of like spinning, but not as bad, but I was jittery. So... That's saying your eyes are bigger than your stomach. I don't know. But anyway, I took four pieces of pizza. But it was like square slices, small ones. If you know the Donald's, you know what I'm talking about. You know, and salad on the side. And I did get the blue cheese dressing. But when I ate, I ended up just finishing the salad. Ate two pieces of pizza and two more slices left. And I wanted to finish it just for the hell of it. But I, I looked at it I'm like, I'm not even craving for pizza. I don't want to eat pizza. So I end up throwing it away. Which is a surprise because usually I would finish that shit. And it wasn't even a lot. So that tells you, you know, this medication just makes you feel hella full. And then last night I did end up eating dinner. It was just a vegetable, no rice. Same thing today. My mom made something simple and I'm going to eat that. I feel really drained and tired. I thought I will feel more energetic. This is the first day, day four, that I feel drained and tired. And I'm ready like to go sleep later on. Like, I'm tired, like, I want to go to sleep. Like, it's wearing out or something. I don't know, but I thought I should know. Day four. And I did get on the scale at work. It said 158 or 157. So, that scale at work is two pounds higher than here. I think I said this morning I was 156 or something like that. But, yay. So, I did lose some weight. So, proof from the scale here and proof from the scale at work. Even though it was higher. But still, I looked at 164 because I weighed 164. Alright guys, um, yeah, look my eyes are like, kind of red, getting pink or whatever. I'm draining tomorrow, one more day of work. Okay, I will upload soon. Alright, bye guys.